Here I am at the Santa Ana Zoo for Boo at the Zoo 2020. And I'm kind of coming in in between the time slots. So there aren't a lot of kids coming in right now. We will go through the gate and see what this year brings, which is quite a bit different than previous years, just because of the social distancing. Um, they are only allowed to have 250 people come in in each time slot. So the first 250 have already come in and now it's in between waiting for the second time slot. So you can see that in order to have this event during 2020, it had to be spread out. And so there are no candy stations, no trick or treat, no sponsors. It's basically a walk through experience where you get to go up to little vignettes and uh, decorations. And each night has completely sold out. So <laughs> that tells you something. And uh, let's see what, what's going on. Hi, would you like to tell us something about Bolito? Absolutely. This is Bolito. He is a Southern three-banded armadillo. They're called three-banded because they have three stripes on their back and that makes their shell nice and flexible so they can curl all the way into a ball in order to protect themselves. You'll notice that he has very long claws on his arms and a long pointy nose. Those claws help him to dig into the dirt to find the insects that he eats. Oh, and does he like being out here at night or does it matter to him? He is nocturnal. Oh. So these guys love being out at night. Oh, that's great. As you can see, he's really active digging into my glove. And we're just super excited to be able to say hi to everyone tonight. That's awesome. Thank you so much for showing him to us. And I'm guessing we're not allowed to touch him right now. Not right now, but okay. when everyone is all nice and healthy, this is one of our regular ambassador animals that we do invite guests to come up close and touch. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We're going to go see what else we've got here tonight. So now we are coming over to the Exploration Outpost, where usually it is a bug hut. And there is uh, someone here with different bugs that we're allowed to touch. And unfortunately this year, they are not allowed to do that. So now it's just kind of a walk through. You can see the boa constrictor. See him over there in the corner. You get to see the boa constrictor. You can see some of these displays and animals in here and we come out to the first vignette so the first little staged area is ghosts so the theme is ghosts over here and you can hear the music playing it was a lot of fun and again there aren't a lot of people right now because it's in between the different time slots for the social distancing but you can see this see how fun this is I mean, you know, this year <laughs> it was difficult to come up with anything, so the fact that there's something at all is pretty cool. Coming around here in front of the aviary, which is currently closed, you can see once again the pathways are very well lit, and we are moving along to the second vignette, the second station. I guess you can call them stations. Everything is set up in a one way path. So all of the guests are headed in the same direction. And this is the second display area and it's pumpkins. We've got hay bales and scarecrows, lots of different scarecrows. This is a perfect place for doing photo ops. And look how cute it is. This is really neat. So this is fun, this little area here. This is amazing. I love the music over here. And look at this guy. He's been quite a few years we've had this guy.
This goes up through Monkey Row Loop, which we're not going to go up there. Um, there aren't any displays, but it's kind of nice. You can see some of the animals that are out. But we are going to cut through this little secret cut across so we can get to the next display area. Okay, Terry, tell us about our snake friend here. Hi, everybody. This is Beetlejuice. He is a California king snake. And they are native to right here in Southern California. They are an excellent snake to have around. They're called a king snake because they are reptile hunters and they will even eat other snakes. King snakes are also known for eating rattlesnakes. So if you see one of these in your yard, you shouldn't have any other snakes living around nearby. That's really good. His black and white pattern or sometimes it's a brownish white or even a black and yellow pattern uh, helps to confuse their predators so when one of these snakes is alarmed they will zigzag back and forth really fast and the confusing black and white pattern makes it really hard to catch them so instead of camouflage they rely on confusing their predators interesting and does he like being out here or can you tell or <laughs> you know he's very calm and relaxed and part of that is that he's not uh, alarmed the other part of that is is he's comfortable on my hand because it's a cool night and my hand is warm so he's likely just to stay right where he is so they like the heat they do okay. uh, and they come out and hunt in the evenings a lot uh, so you rarely ever see them out and about during the daytime unless it's early when they're getting warmed up and moving around. Great. Thank you so much for showing them to us. My pleasure. Have a good evening. You too. We're going to go on and see what the next display is. Say bye, Beetlejuice. That was fun. We got to see Beetlejuice. <laughs> so now we are over at this display by the train tracks. So we're about to come up to my favorite vignette of the night. This is the Pirate Island and it's really cool. So Bob is the main professional who put this together and it's all about pirates. So it's really cool. This is something that's just awesome this year and I know everyone's just loving it. I mean, look at that. It's like real water. So cool. Now into the farm area. So sad the rides are not operating. Usually for Boo at the zoo, this area is packed, like unbelievably packed. And the lines for the rides are crazy. 
this year not happening we are going into the farm which is dinosaur themed so we are going into the next vignette which is all about dinosaurs also there's usually storytelling over here in the back of the farm up on the stage out here and because we are not allowed to have gatherings there aren't going to be any storytelling tonight so that's kind of sad to see it empty over here but hopefully next year everything will be back so in the meantime we have our dung beetle roll which has been turned into dinosaur land i mean look at how cool this is look at that lighting there it looks like a fire uh, and i hear jurassic world music playing i love it i love it this is fun this is fun so this is another area that can come and get your picture. Enjoy this beautiful night. The prices for this event are $10 per person if you are a member of the zoo or $15 per person if you are not a member of the zoo. And only 250 people were allowed at each time slot, which is why it's very, very spread out. And here's where you go on the way out and every child is given a boo bag so instead of having trick-or-treating this year every child gets a bag of toys on the way out so we can see what the bags are going to be here we are at the exit and these are the treat bags that each child is given they're going to be getting a toy from nightmare before christmas you guys want to tell us what's in each bag? Or this is Santa Ana night, so there's some other things in here. We, we have, have the water bottle, and we have our little nightmare. There he is. This is the one. Is he scary? Not, he's Mary, not scary. And we have a book. Oh, a book. That's great. Let's see what that is. Nice. And we have a keychain from the city. Oh, okay. So uh, everybody's getting some good stuff. Stickers. And art and crafts. Nice. What to do with the paper oh. bag when you're done. Boo at the Zoo 2020. There it is. And, and, and it tells you how you can make a craft and you also get a word search. Oh my goodness, that's really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. a tree out of it as well. Oh, a tree out of the bag? Yeah. Oh, that's you just nice. Twist it. Oh, I see. Okay, that's cool. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs> in 2020, wait, what is it, 2020? In 2040, we'll watch this and go, oh my gosh, remember that year? <laughs> right? The COVID year. How the yes, <laughs> yeah. I know. COVID. And hopefully we will all be here 20 years from now. I guess I we should be. Say. We'll be in we our 70s, be. that's okay. Yeah.